guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Very special day today. Um, I got my cards. Oh my god. So this is just a prototype. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct terminology for it, but um, I did notice that there's a couple of mistakes on the cards. Like for example, here we have an of in that font and it's a different font here so there are some things that need to be changed the cards are a little bit big as well um, but oh my god the colors they I swear to god these cards look even better printed out it's just incredible it's so surreal that I'm actually holding these cards in my hand oh my god crazy so um, I'm gonna be talking to Cody on Tuesday about the cards. Uh, also the registrations are a little off as well. One side is a little bit longer than the other side. Um, so I'm talking to him on Tuesday and he said we're good to go for mass production so I was supposed to look at these and let him know. So there are minor changes that need to be done on the cards first but uh, yeah it looks like this thing is happening. Oh my god. Uh, also I don't know if I should keep the, the backs black. Um, that's double-sided printing, right? I just think they look so cool uh, with my original deck here. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think I should keep the black, but it's double-sided printing if I do. Uh, I might just even just put a little NFGC logo instead of all black. But anyway, so today is December the 23rd, so just a couple more days before Christmas. I apologize for not being able to get this reading out for you on the uh, 2112 uh, portal there. Um, but I had a Christmas party I had to attend and I totally forgot about it. Okay, so what should we do here? Um, I guess I'll just do a, a quick Twin Flame reading. So, should I pull? Yeah, I'll pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so my side is the strength. My side? What the heck? The feminine side is the strength card. Masculine uh, is the Four of Cups. Get in there. Okay, I'm so OCD. I'm sorry. I'll just put them up here. Ah. Maybe down here. That's better. Okay. Um, so for the present position for the feminine side is the Knight of Swords. Masculine Yen. Nice. Oops. Okay. For the near future for the feminine is... Uh, wow. Yang. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, near future masculine, high priestess. Okay, and final outcome for the feminine. Nice. Nine of cups. I should actually hold them a little bit longer so you guys can actually see the colors and stuff. And for the final come for the masculine is the eight of wands. Sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union is the hermit. A lot of major arcanas. What is the masculine bringing in? The king of pentacles. They're a little bit more flimsy than my regular deck. I might have to 
get a thicker um, cardstock, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so for the foundation is the Ace of Cups. Nice. Okay, crowning energy. Oh my god, heart chakra. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. And at the heart is Six of Wands, Six of Fire. Nice. And the bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles, so firm foundation. Okay, should I use my other deck as clarifiers? No. Or maybe we'll use a little deck. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's go through each position here. Let me just give these a little bit better shuffle. Okay, so for the feminine side, the past position is the strength card. So this is using love, kindness, and compassion, very gentle, nurturing energy in order to transmute <clears throat> or change um, a negative environment or you know negative energy into something more positive. And that way you open up a space of acceptance, um, and that way people can open up to you. Um, yeah, so it's taming the beast within. And that's beautiful energy for the feminine to be in, right? Just understanding, calm, you know, uh, forgiving, allowing. And so for the, the masculine's past position is the Four of Cups. Uh, so you can see the energy is turned away from the connection. This uh, person's looking out the window. Um, so this is disconnect, uh, stagnation, feel like things are moving. Um, you know, he could be turned away from the love connection, not uh, accepting that cup of love. So, I mean, that's um, generally what I've been seeing in the masculine, for sure, in the readings. All right, so the present position for the feminine is a knight of swords. So this is movement forward, but it's very chaotic, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, it, he is a champion, he comes in, uh, he makes changes, but they're very quick, they're, they're not thought through, um, you know, he acts on a whim, he fights for justice, but he'll fight for anybody, basically. So, it, this could mean communication, or just really scattered energy, feeling like there's no direction, but this could also mean that the feminine are champions in in a way that you know they they fight for justice and truth they know their truth they know um you know their their inner you know their core values within they know the truth of who they are and what this connection is and they're they're willing to fight for it um, so let's just pull one clarifier from my small deck down here. Childish actions, that's exactly um, the kind of energy that this also represents. It's, you know, bickering, it's battling, fighting for to fight, just really childish. Um, so, you know, it's coming in for the feminine, right? So she may be triggered, perhaps. Um, you know, there may be things happening, or she may be viewing the masculine as being childish, right? He's got the Four of Cups, that's kind of a childish energy. You know, not dealing with things, ignoring, avoiding, very childish. Um, you know, we want to see something like, you know, the Yang energy, who is very authoritative, who um, is you know, can speak his truth without any kind of fear, right? So these are kind of opposite energies there. Uh, now the masculine is bringing in the king of pentacles, which is a very grounded energy into the union. Um, but in terms of how he's been feeling in the past, it seems um, childish, for lack of a better word. Uh, so maybe the feminine sees that, and she is... Um, defensive maybe 
So let's pull one card from the Osho Zen for a clarifier. What do you mean by the Knight of Swords and childish actions? So it's unable to cope, hiding, canceling, um, you know, meetings or trips or what have you. It's kind of like avoidance energy. Okay. So we got the Major Arcana, number 21, Completion. So this is the end of the Fool's Journey in a uh, right away deck, uh, but it has a different explanation for the Osho. So let me just, oh my God, where's my book? Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Here, the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle is being placed into, or is being put into place. The position of the third eye, the place of the inner perception. Even in the ever-changing flow of life, there are moments in which we come to a point of completion. In these moments, we are able to perceive the whole picture, the composite of all the small pieces that have occupied our attention uh, for so long. In the finishing, we can either be in despair because we don't want the situation to come to an end, or we can be grateful and accepting of the fact that life is full of endings and new beginnings. Whatever has been absorbing your time and energy is now uh, coming to an end. Completing it, you will be clearing the space for something new to begin. Use this interval to celebrate both the end of the old and the coming of the new. So uh, that kind of reminded me of the Twin Flame reading that, um, you know, the energy that we're in right now. Uh, you know, there's that hiccup, uh, a sense of being triggered on the feminine side. Um, and here we can see her not being triggered, not playing the game, you know, not allowing things to affect her. And so this is a major sense of accomplishment here. And the universe is acknowledging that. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present is the yin. Beautiful yin and the yang. Uh, so the masculine sees his feminine um, as his twin flame. And again, I'm being reminded of the twin flame reading that we're in right now. Um, so if you want to check out that video, it's for December, oh my God, 28th to January 11th, I think. So in that reading, um, he had the 1111 card in the present position in how he views a relationship. And this card was showing up um, in the masculine reading that I did. So very cool synchronicity here and then the other cool synchronicity was the ace of cups remember and there was a sense of healing right the same energy is being brought in very cool synchronicity um but the yin divine feminine he's thinking about the feminine uh this is a goddess of love very nurturing gentle energy uh similar to the strength card but you know, it, this is grounding, um, feeling success in, in oneself, living your life authentic, authentically. So I'm just going to pull one card as a clarifier. You are ready. Wow. Leap of faith. Um, enthusiasm, taking a chance. So he knows who the feminine is and he sees her as his twin flame and there's a sense that he's ready. Wow, beautiful. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just more or less waking up, oh my God. <laughs> uh, so for um, the, re the near future for the uh, feminine is Yang. So this is a masculine energy, very strong, um, very powerful, again, authentic, living his true authentic life. So it's coming in her near future. So that could very much be the masculine reaching out 
because um, we have the Eight of Wands there, we have the Nine of Cups as a final outcome, which is wish granted. Okay, so I just want to pull um, one card from my original deck here. What do you mean by the Yang, Spirit, please? What do you mean by the Yang in the feminine side? Solar plexus chakra. So, again, there's this power. Solar plexus is strength, courage, confidence. Okay, we see that same energy kind of down here, but this is more of controlling a situation by taming the beast. Um, so the feminine will be activated, um, you know, through the solar plexus chakra, which is a lower vibration. Um, so maybe she will find strength or courage to, just one moment. Oh my God, I just had a wicked tickle in my throat. Sorry about that. Okay, so she may find the strength and courage to reach out to the masculine or the masculine will come to her and she will feel, she will see the masculine in his power and it may make her feel powerless or, low, you know, um, her confidence may be tested. I don't know. Okay, so what is in the near future for the masculine is the high priest, Des. <laughs> so, feminine energy again. Um, so, the high priestess is somebody who's very intuitive. Um, she's ruled by the moon, uh, which is being able to see beyond, um, see into the subconscious mind, um, see the truth of things. So, this is intuitive knowing, your inner knowing. Um, so the masculine may be stepping into this energy uh, or he could just be really connecting with the feminine on the 5D level, you know, through the third eye chakra. So let me just do the same thing. I'll give my older deck there a quick shuffle. Wow, sacral chakra. So, again, a lower vibration, a lower chakra, number two. Solar plexus is three. So we kind of have some mirroring, in a way, happening here. A lot of, um, a lot of triggers. Uh, the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored, right? So we see this emotional hiccup in the past, right? So it's like he's using his intuition um, to open up the chakra. Um, because it seems to me there's a decision that's being made, right? Or there's a decision to move forward in with the high priestess. It's you, you need to activate your intuition in order to guide you, right? So there's a sense of movement there. So even though the, the sacral chakra is activated, um, it is accompanied with the high priestess, which is a major arcana, very powerful energy. So, yeah. Um, okay, so the final outcome for the feminine side is the Nine of Cups, wish granted. So your wishes are being fulfilled. This is a deep sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. Um, this is, the Nine is nearing the completion. So we have a Nine here with an Ace at the bottom, which is, 10, right? It's There's this finality, this um, pivotal moment that seems to be coming for the feminine. Um, so the Nine of Cups is celebrating life, going out to restaurants, uh, you know, and I'm really feeling the holiday celebration here, you know, laughing, um, um, cheering, just gatherings, family gatherings, and just feeling happy. And so the final come for the masculine is the Eight of Wands, so communication. So this could mean texting, phone calls. Uh, this is also accelerated motion. So it's things speeding up. It's enthusiasm because you can feel 
your your uh, wishes and your goals being manifested into the 3D reality. Um, so the masculine may reach out and now this reading is for the energy we're in right now. Okay, so um, it could just be a feeling of vibration of this energy coming towards you. It's Cupid's arrows, right? Just being um, excited about life. So it's a final outcome for the masculine. So this energy could come to him or he could send it out. So let's pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by the Eight of Wands? Spirit, please. Destiny. The Wheel of Fortune. Good luck. And it's really kind of playing off this card. You are ready. You know, the deep sense of knowing that he's ready to move forward or reach out. And the Destiny card is, you know, a play on that. Like, good luck um, coming back to him as a result of making that choice. So destiny comes whether you're ready for it or not. Um, and it's good luck, good fortune, um, karmic vibration, completion of a cycle from five years to ten. All right, so if it is a masculine reaching out, it's going to work out in your, on your side, work out for you. Um, and vice versa, you know, if the uh, feminine is reaching out to the masculine, um, it's going to be great karmic energy. You know, you're, I feel like, and like wishes granted again, you know, kind of a mirroring the nine of cups over there. So what the heck, let's just pull one card for the nine of cups. Okay, so five of pentacles. Um... So this is a disconnect, feeling left out in the cold, feeling alone as a minor energy. And of course, coming from that, you know, paralyzing feeling of having nobody in the 3D reality to this, Nine of Cups, exuberance and unconditional love and just being, you know, celebrating life. That's, that's perfect card to accompany that for sure. All right, so... At the foundation is the Ace of Cups. So this is a shared energy between both aspects. Um, so it's a new beginning of love, and this card only shows up when you are ready to accept love into your life. You've healed the past. You've forgiven, right? We see a lot of healing happening here. Um, you know, there's this little hiccup here, but I think it's a feminine being conscious of um, being triggered, you know, uh, literally up here, you know, this person's holding a gun, being triggered, right? Um, shooting his, himself in the foot to release himself from a situation, even though he knows there's going to be hardship of some kind, he's willing to do it. Um, you know, the Knight of Swords, childish actions, very chaotic energy, and just not being um, triggered by it. Being in this beautiful, loving space accepting space you know, and, and it's you're like a magnet you know the masculine's thinking of you and um, like a magnet you're you're drawing him into your life so I don't know if I want to pull any additional cards for that that's absolutely perfect you you're both ready as a foundation you're both ready um, for unconditional love so it's a brand new beginning so I'm just going to move into what the feminine is bringing into the union. So Major Arcana, the Hermit, Wisdom and in Solitude is what I've named this card. So this is somebody who is detached from 3D reality, from conditioning, and you can see that detachment, absolutely perfect. The energy is turned away from the union, but um, the feminine seeking solitude in a spiritual you know, to further her spiritual um, wisdom. So this isn't somebody who's running and hiding and avoiding. This is somebody who is, who is already wise, who's already been on a, this journey for quite some time. 
and this is a choice made for the you know the feminine it is solitude is uh, where you find the answers you know this is more of a blocking those thoughts out um, whereas this is seeking wisdom but being unchained not allowing things to pull her into the 3d reality and so what is masculine bringing in is the king of pentacles king of earth so very grounded very successful energy this is abundance um, achievement now this person doesn't place a lot of importance on the 3d reality very similar to the hermit however the the masculine or the the um, the king enjoys he takes pleasure out of being surrounded by people that love him he he is he cares for people um, he's a project protector and provider very similar to the yang up there however he's not the king you know the yang is the emperor um, so the king although he's at the pinnacle of his in terms of achievement in you know in the earth energy um, he's still not fully in the yang yet but this is it's still very similar energies very grounded you know they're both the uh, yang and the king of pentacles is earth energy you can see I marked um, red around um, coupled with the um, violet or purple which is spirit so the red is earth um, you probably can't see it very well so I think those that's another thing I need to change as well is to brighten up the colors a little bit more so you can see so um, spirit coupled with the earth is very similar to the yang over there is what I'm trying to say so and it, it's also mirroring the hermit right there uh, again the hermit is an earth energy as well okay so there's groundedness here um, detachment from the 3d but different in that the hermit seeks solitude doesn't want to be uh, around people um, doesn't need anybody right whereas the king needs people around him he enjoys looking after people you know he enjoys that that sense of security and stability in the 3d reality um, okay so what is the crowning energy is the heart chakra awesome oh my god true love unconditional love you know there's a sense of that true love has already begun with the ace of cups down there as a foundation and here it's just growing it's getting bigger and deeper day by day that's their crowning goal is to feel this unconditional love and at the heart both aspects are celebrating this connection six of wands is being the rock star um, people cheering you on you feeling you know you're you're being placed on a pedestal um, people are proud of you they use it as an example and again wand fire is spirituality so it's being on the spiritual path so there's a lot of excitement um, celebration a feeling of victory and so much love oh my god that is so beautiful you know recognizing one another in true love unconditional love being able to detach and feel grounded and secure within one's self you know brings in your wishes opening a space for communication and love um, brings just that to the feminine you know, so it, you can see a beautiful crossing over of energy mirroring and um, you know both aspects are reflecting one another it's absolutely awesome so the overall energy of the reading is the three of pentacles so this is firm foundation 
feeling grounded in the 3D reality, feeling successful, accomplished, knowing there's still more work to do. And I, and I think this card was also a theme for the Twin Flame readings that we're still in right now. So, yeah, th I feel that this connection is starting to take root in the 3D, um, especially with the King of Pentacles there. You know, and all the pinnacle energy that I mentioned before. All right, so um, actually, Yang, sorry, is not pinnacles, it's fire. My bad. Fire, see, that's another thing I have to change. Um, yeah, fire, because he is uh, Aries, right? Emperor, Emperor is um, Aries energy, so it would be fire. So, yeah, I definitely have to make those colors darker. Um, all right, so let's see here. I think I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids, and I will read those to you. The purple and the, the red is just too similar. You can't separate them. Yeah, that's purple. So that would be Fire Spirit. And here's red, which would be earth energy. So, yeah, if I'm making mistakes, <laughs> then I'm sure you guys out there will have a difficult time reading them as well. So definitely got to work on that. All right, so what final messages do you have? Stop for the feminine. Uh, Naughty mermaid. And for the masculine is sea beasties. And if you're waiting for a reading, I'm going to be um, trying, I'm going to try really hard to get those readings out to you today. Um, so be just right before Christmas, a little Christmas gift. I apologize for the little delay. Um, okay, so 41, Naughty Mermaid. Your facade projects a hurting heart, detached from love, self apart. Yet, is that what you felt inside, or is that a front, a veneer, a pride? Others ask, of course they do, what I have longed to ask you, too. From where does this disdain arise? Why have you such conceited eyes? And I can see that disdain with childish actions and the night here. Okay, so a contemptuous mermaid lounges in a, her pool, bored with her company, and letting it show, she displays her disdain openly and comes across as conceited, detached, and catty, though her facial expressions, body language, and aura, or sorry, through her facial expressions, body language, and aura. So the meaning is take a long, hard look in the mirror. It is time to step back and take a long, hard look in the mirror, literally and figuratively. What are you saying to the world? Does your outward appearance reflect the inner you? Are you portraying yourself the way you want others uh, to be seen, or sorry, the way that you want to be seen by others? Do you appear professional, unique, mature, quirky, or is your look just convenient? This is a good time to update your personal style and revamp wardrobe, new hairstyle, or perhaps sharp new accessories. This is also a time to think about your body language. Do you come across as open and friendly, sarcastic and stuck up, frumpy and sloppy? Pay attention to your posture and physique as well as your facial expressions. Smile a little more. Great things may open up to you. So, yeah, the spirit is asking you to, you know, uh, take a chill pill. Um, but then again, you know, we can see that closed off energy on the masculine side, right? With these two cards here. So just watch your reaction to it, I think, is what spirit is trying to say you know don't don't be overtly pissed off because of the way somebody else is acting maybe they're ignoring you right but in reality they, they are thinking of you um, they want to open up emotionally right they want to feel true love so okay so number eight for the masculine Sea beasties. Here in the murky depths 
we dwell, trapped in darkness like jail, um, obscured by she who holds the key, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our shadows no longer condone. Buried deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress. Oh, one second. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay. So, let's just start again. So, a strange maiden in tentacled headdress fixes her slightless, sorry, slight, ah, I can't talk still. Uh, Mercury retrograde, awesome. I'm not sure when it starts to go direct, but I still feel it. Okay, so fixes her sightless gaze straight ahead, unaware of a bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the meaning is beware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. Lately you have felt some unfamiliar stirrings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be the things you have forgotten and they be, may be things you have intentionally ignored, ignored or unconsciously repressed. However, they are, are still there, they are still there, and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to re retrieve or recall, but do not worry. Nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, uh, the better you will become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. So yeah, that's, that's perfect, that's exactly it, right? Um, not closing yourself off right and he's opening up he's seeing those subconscious fears he, he's um healing himself allowing love in okay all right so i do hope you enjoyed this um please leave a comment i would love to hear what you think of the cards um and um, yeah, I'm going to be talking to Cody on Tuesday, so I'm going to be putting an order. So if you do want um, a deck, you can uh, leave a comment underneath this video so I kind of know how many to order. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys and happy holidays. Cheers.